Hey Solus, AJ Solar Matt Rice here with another unboxing. Siege of Valyria by Daily Magic Games. Um, I've also got the campaign coming here with me from the Kickstarter set where they had three games at once. I've gone for the solo um, only game. Um, I'm going to unbox both here. Um, just before I do though, I might do a bit of a... I'll just start doing this a bit more often when I do my unboxing. Just a bit of a measure for you guys. This looks like it's about 200 millimeters. Um, across that way, yeah, across this way, it's about 225 that way, and the height and depth, so that's about 40, yeah, about 40 millimeters. Um, this small box that comes with it, pretty tiny, it might even fit in the box, we'll see though, but yeah, 92 ish across that way, uh, this way. Is about 120 or so, and this way is again 40. Alrighty, so let's open, let's uh, look around. So, single play game, 40 plus 30 to 45 minutes. I like the artwork around the sides, nice. Yeah, I like that one, so when your shelf looks good. Got a bit of flavor, te uh, flavor text over here. Um, Siege of Valera, an epic tower defense game. For more than a month, the Shadow Kingdoms have surrounded your fortress at Valyria's southern border with hordes of monsters and mighty engines of war. The Queen of Valyria has sent word that her forces are all engaged in the Battle of the North and she cannot provide assistance. Your supplies are nearly exhausted and your starving and suffering citizens are close to despair. You've rallied your soldiers and holy troops to meet the Monster King's latest surge, but if you cannot break the siege in seven days, your fortress will fall and the southern border of the realm will crumble before the onslaught of monsters. Do you have what it takes to defend the castle? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Here's some sample um, artwork. Contents in here. We've got 102 cards, so three wood tokens, 12 custom six sided dice, a fortress board, and a rule book. As I said, single player, 14 plus. No little kitties. Okay. Let's give her a open up. Come on, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Got a components list on the front, like a rule book. A bit more flavor text. Ooh, pictures. Game setup. It's a big game setup. <laughs> um, kind of reminds me a bit like Dark Swarm, I guess. I did an unboxing for that too. I've yet to play that. I should really play that game. But um, I'm keen to get this as well. I thought this looked good. Kickstarter page. Game flow. A bit more text on this side, but they're trying to explain a bit for you. A little bit of light reading, it's not too thick of a rule book. And then losing. A bit of a description on how to win and lose it. Champions, champions. Okay. Yes, a lot of reading there. A lot of reading, not as much like a description in terms of pictures, but that's okay. I can read. Mm. Alright. Uh, what else we got? We'll go through these cards in a moment. So, tokens. Let's see what they look like. Yeah, let's see. So it's, are these are are these wood. Yes, they are. It's wood tokens. Okay, there's a few of these in here. Some of fire. Ooh, looks like an apple or something. <laughs> Normal size dice, six sided. People, more cards. Okay, slightly smaller version. Yeah, we've got like a fold out board box and things. Yeah, cool. Flip it over, nothing on the other side. Okay, let's get through the cards. Before I open these up, I'm just going to give them a quick measure for you guys. So, for those that like to sleeve, it looks to be about 44 ish. Uh, by 60. 68, yeah, um, I'll give these an open, All right. so we've got what looks like a little reference card, it's pretty cool, then we've got ones with these backs, I'm assuming these are enemies or something, I'm not sure, I'll just put through these, again guys, as always with these unboxings, spoilers galore, I imagine, These are all sirs, I don't know, maybe they are good guys, or they could be bad guys, I'm not sure. Nice 
Microsoft's iconography, especially, especially with these games, tend to be good with their iconography. Okay, beautiful. That's that set. And then the rest of these uh, smaller cards have these backs. There's a bit of flavor text on these type of cards. It tells you something you can do. Can't crud, eh? Again, haven't played this, just opening it for the first time. So hard for me to comment on much what's going on. Can't remember much from the crowdfunding campaign. I do look at a lot of crowdfunding. I don't know, measure these up for you guys. Look a bit more squarish, these ones. Probably a bit harder to sleeve on the right sides of these. So what's that? It's about, let's say 70, 69, 70. By, yeah, square 70, 69, 70. Okay. There's some with these backs. That looks kind of cool. <laughs> So these ones, so these must be the, perhaps the bad guys. So they're the same, so there'll be a few the same. Yes, it's a few of each card, but that's okay. All these undead samurais. Oh, oh. Ifrit. Once you have heroes, not magic, the Ifrit. Oh, there's an extra one though. Oh, there's more. Okay. Gargoyles. So maybe these are more basic in there. There's more of them. Knights. Oh, I'm interested in this game. Troll Brute. Okay, beautiful. That's those back cards. Let's get that out of the way. And there's other ones with these back. It's like a siege thing or something, maybe a siege weapon. I think these are the things you have to destroy to win the game or something. I don't know, I can't really remember. <laughs> that looks all pretty cool. So it looks like there's two of each. Beautiful. So that's the base set of Siege of Valyria. Um, continue watching, guys, if you want to see what the campaign's got. Um, in the box, I'm going to unbox that as well. Be aware, of course, spoilers coming up. All right, Siege of Valyria campaign box. Turn the edges here, still got a little bit of artwork. Still keeps it as single players. It says 90 minutes for the campaign box. Not sure if that's a session or the whole thing. After defending your fortress at Valyria's southern border from the Shadow Kingdoms, the Queen of Valyria has requested you personally oversee the defences in the final battles as the Monster King advanced north. You will defend the cities of Victoria and Nymar, and then command the forces at the capital city of Shalina in the one final stage. You may lose some battles in your campaign to save the Kingdom of Valyria, but you'll be able to win the war. But will you be able to win the war? Excuse me. <laughs> so this is an expansion. Siege of Valyria required to play. Uh, 72 cards, one wound token, and a rule book. So it sounds like once you play the basic game, then you can get into this campaign. I've already done the measurements for the box. Have a look. You can see here. So the box looks like that. It comes out of the box. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. There's something else in here. Nope, just a heavy rule book. Okay, so that's be interesting. So this just gets folded up. I suppose you could probably chuck this in your, your main box as well. It tells you the exact components. We can check that later if you want to do an audit. It's the campaign story. And additional setup. 
campaign. Very text heavy, but I guess if you're getting into a campaign, they imagine that you're quite into this game. So you will read it. Yeah, it is very much basic text, isn't it? But that's okay. You can judge on your own what you think of these. You can turn your eye away and not know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, elite troops. Quick play reference. Cool. Well, that slowly fold up. Get a random token in here with some desiccates. Please do not eat. Um, you throw away. I like to keep them though. Sometimes it dries out things. Cool. <laughs> okay, some kind of marker. Alrighty, um, looks like the same size as what I just did before. So, no worries there with sleeving, just extra sleeves as I can leave them. More square cards. Okay. So these all have the same backstone. It's a reference. Okay, so let's cut for that. Let's go through the enemies. Goblin cutter. It's only a single bitch one of these, so imagine, as I said, there might be elite elite enemies or bosses and things like that. Ooh, flaming skeleton, oh my god. Goblin shrub, Trent Grove. Legions, war bands, all coming for our towns. My god, siege weapons, spin blade. Oh, jeez, combination <laughs> juggernaut. Oh, wow. So, maybe these are the bosses that we Ferris curse. It's interesting how it was sideways. Spin blade again. Alright, cool. Alright, I've got the smaller ones. Just to double check for you guys. Get the trusty measuring tool out. So roughly 44 by 68. Yep, so it's the same. And surely these are the same as the other ones as well. Yep, 70. 6970 here. Okay. So, in this deck, we've got slightly different back cards here. I'm just splitting them up a bit. Uh, sorry for the weight. Okay. So, we've got these cards again. These are the enemy cards. Actually, yeah. Maybe not enemies, actually. I think they're all good guys, weren't they? Not sure. We've got two of these. Mm -hmm. And then we've got these purple cards. Okay, got the green cards. A wall. <laughs> so these are maybe bad cards or things, I'm sure. Okay, then have these cards.
<laughs> I always like the artwork in these as well. Just other games. Cool. And that is that, guys. And that was the, the campaign box. But overall, that is the crowdfunded version of Siege of Deliria. Uh, that's come to my doorstep. Give, looking forward to giving this a playthrough um, to show you guys what it's about. Anyway, Souls, crush your gaming thirst. Play Solid.